5. Capacitors, part 2. Capacitors in series and in parallel. Factors affecting capacitance. There are three factors. One is the area of the parallel plates. Second one is the distance between the two plates. The third one is the properties of the dielectric material between the two plates. And the formula is this C for capacitance, A for area, D for distance, and this is the E0 is called the absolute permittivity of free space. In other words, just air in between the two parallel plates. Dielectric constant. A dielectric increases the capacitance of a capacitor. This is called dielectric effect. And dielectric constant, ER, gives the proportion by which the capacitance of a capacitor is increased. So we can have that ratio ER equal to CD, which is the capacitance of the capacitor with the dielectric, divided by the CA, which is the capacitance of the capacitor with just air as a dielectric. And the formula for, the, for a capacitor with a dielectric becomes this. That's the capacitance of a, the capacitor with dielectric. A is the area, D, distance between the two plates. And these two are constants. Some examples of dielectric constants. A is 1, that's a standard. Oil paper, 2. Glass is 6. In other words, if you use oil paper as a dielectric, then the capacitance of the capacitor will be increased two times compared to just air. With glass, it will increase it by six times. So here is a simple example. A capacitance with air between its plates has capacitance of 1.1 nanofarad. Then a sheet of oil paper is put in. And what is the new capacitance? Since the dielectric constant for oil paper is 2, the capacitance is, is doubled. Instead of 1.1, now it's 2.2 nanofarad. Capacitors in parallel. These two capacitors are in parallel with each other, connected to a power supply. Without going into all details, which you can read yourself, just remember the formula for the total capacitance P for parallel and it's equal to the sum of individual capacitances and this can compare with resistances or resistors in series where you just add up the individual resistances to give you the total resistance. Capacitors in series like these two, and just have to remember this formula, 1 over Cs, Cs is the total capacitance for capacitors in series, and C1, C2 are the individual capacitances, and this formula looks similar to this, which is a formula for resistors in parallel. Here we have two capacitors in parallel. And their total capacitance is simply the sum of their individual capacitances, which works out to be 12.5 microfarads.